First up, we're going to use the lacrosse ball, so we introduced this last night. Uh, you can uh, order these, just send me a text. Uh, you guys have the, the text messages that went out this morning. You'll want to take this, find the top corner of the chest against the wall, hand behind your back if you prefer, and we're going to get in there and roll for about 30 seconds a side. Okay, once you've done that side, you'll transition over and do the same thing on the other side as well. So next up is our open book stretch. I'm doing this one with a Rolga, so you guys might have a foam roller. Um, Rolga is super beneficial. I would recommend trying to get one of these guys if you can get your hands on one. We do take orders here. Uh, we'll start sideline. You're going to get one leg up. This is to help lock down your low back when you get that knee up. We'll brace that with your hand and we're going to pull your ribs or reach over your shoulder, your choice. I'll show you both. And rotate the other way, looking with your eyes the opposite direction. And what we were doing yesterday was a nice 30 second hold. You can also reach out with your arm as well. So either is fine, whichever you prefer. Uh, I find sometimes when you reach out with your arm, if you're overextending, you can feel in your shoulder, you shouldn't feel that. So if that is the case, pull from the ribs instead. Nice deep breath when you get there and you'll get a little bit more range out of it. All right guys, next up is our kneeling T-spine rotation. For this one, you can get a little bit of a double whammy, open the groin up a little bit. It's important not to spread your knees too wide because you might not be able to sit back far enough on your feet. The goal is to open the hips up, sit back on your feet to help lock down your low back, and then open up your thoracic spine in rotation. So what that looks like, I'm seated, I go a little bit wide with my leg, just open up that hip position, sitting back, one hand pushing down into the ground, one hand up by my ear, I'm gonna rotate under and follow my elbow with my eyes and with my nose as I come under. And then I'm gonna look up to the ceiling as I'm doing that, breathe out, exhale, three second pause up top, and then bring it back. So we're looking at five of those. A couple alterations you can do. It'll lock down your low back a little bit more. If you go down to the forearm, you can do this as well. If you're really mobile in T-spine, this might help. You can rotate under. Same thing, go up. Just a little bit more restricted in the movement there. Next up is our seated tabletop. So what that looks like, seated, like looks like you're at the top of a setup or something like that. So feet flat on the ground, hands behind you, and they can start kind of folded over, that's fine. Now we're going to open the chest up by corkscrewing your arms into the ground and popping that chest forward. So knees up is going to help lock down that low back. We want to get that movement from primarily the T-spine. So that chest pops forward, hold for five seconds, relax, and then come back into it. Another five seconds. Next up is the bat wing wall plank. Find yourself a slab of wall anywhere. You want to get your feet about 10 to 12 inches away from the wall. Set yourself up in a plank position so your body comes nice and straight. Tuck that tail under. You're going to take your elbows, drive them into the wall, but think about pulling them down to your back pocket. You're going to hang out here for up to 30 seconds if you can. If not, you're going to make up that time just by taking a break. If you do five seconds, and you'll do that six times. Or if you do it 10 seconds, you do three times 30 seconds, three times 10 seconds until you get to that 30 seconds. 